Hi, this is Karthik from Fisherman Training Institute, Salala Om. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I am going to teach you how to use table and basic arithmetic operations in Microsoft Access 2010. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to use table and basic arithmetic operations in Microsoft Access 2010. In order to achieve this task, we should open Microsoft Access 2010. How to open Microsoft Access 2010? It's quite simple. Go to Start, go to All Program, and go to Microsoft Office, where you can able to find Microsoft Access 2010. Just click Microsoft Access 2010 in order to open it. Whenever you open Microsoft Access 2010, it will take you to a view called as Backstage View. This view is called as Backstage View, where by default new and blank database options are selected. All the work you did will be stored in a default location called Documents. I wish to change the location. How to change the location? Here is the option called as Browse Icon. You just click Browse Icon. Whenever you click Browse Icon, file new database dialog box will be generated where you can able to navigate to your system or computer so I'm going to navigate to desktop where I'm going to create a new folder I'm going to name the folder as access example and open it now I want to give a name for the database let us say Or Mac and click OK. Now use create icon in order to create a database and a blank table. Whenever you click create icon it will generate the database and by default it will generate table 1. Now I need to redesign the table so you just select the table and switch to design view. How to switch to design view? Here you can able to see view, you just click on view where you can able to find design view. Whenever you click on design view for first time, it will ask for the table name. So I'm going to give, let us say, example and click OK. Now, by default, the first row will be assigned with primary key. If you wish to remove the primary key, it's quite easy just click primary key right here it will be removed now I wish to add the primary key so just add the primary key and I want to change it to serial number it's going to be the auto number auto generated number and next I'm going to use A so here using this field I'm going to store the A value it's going to be number and next is B value it's going to be number now I'm going for calculation so A plus B so where in data type you can able to see calculator you just click on calculator and this is an area where you can able to express like field 1 plus field 2 so now I'm going to use A plus B click OK and next A minus B. Again data type select calculator and type A minus B and click OK. Next A multiplied B or A asterisk B. Here data type choose calculator and here A into B and click OK. And next one is A divided by B again calculator and let us say A divided by B and click OK and save the changes and close the design now I'm going double click the table now I'm going to enter the value let us say A value 1 and B value 3 automatically the a plus b a minus b a into b a divided b values will be calculated 
automatically there's no need we want to calculate it and see I'm going for a second value I'm going for a second value let us say 25 so automatically when I use tab all the values will be generated so now I'm going for third value let us say 96 so when I use tab see all the values are generated let us see for okay so because we cannot able to enter the values it means that all the values are generated so this is how you can use the basic arithmetic operation while designing a table I think you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.